some bear spray and uh, got my wilderness permit so ready to go and I'm heading up to Lassen now gonna, gonna get there pretty late but uh, I should be able to set up camp before sunset I'll check in with you soon This hill was where I came back in 2020 when everybody was supposed to be indoors and it was all covered in snow. Hiked up to up and around the top there, kind of plateaus out, it's a beautiful view. And then this is where I camped just about 50 or 60 yards down there. Somewhere in there. There was a lot less shrubs because there were more trees that, that weren't burned. All those trees were, were green. It's King's Creek Trailhead. Sun's getting pretty low, so we're gonna see how far I can hike in. Before I need to camp. Okay, you can barely see me, but it is nine o'clock. Still hiking. I went to Echo Lake, but said no camping there. So just gonna keep trekking along here and see if we can get to Twin Lakes or camp somewhere in between there. It is dark. Well, that was an interesting night. It's about five, it's about 5.30 a.m. ish. And uh, guess what I forgot to bring? Forgot to bring my tent poles. So this is where I slept last night. And by slept, I mean just kind of waited for the sun to rise. It's a little windy, you might be able to hear, but yeah. So this is Upper Twin Lakes, Upper Twin Lake in Lassen Park. guys kind of throughout the night. Did I mention it's a little bit cold this morning? I mean not freezing or anything but just a little chilly. Feels feels nice though. Down in the valley it's 
probably already 75 degrees. Probably hike back to the car to check out uh, either Manzanita Lake or um, Butte Lake. Not really sure which one yet. Or maybe somewhere else. I don't know. Just, I'm not really big on sleeping under the stars without a tent like some people are. It's just too many too many noises, too much wind, I just can't sleep, so I haven't really slept in about, I, I don't know, 18 hours or something. So I'm pretty proud of this uh, little homemade camping pillow that I made here. I've got some purple sheets before and they came in this pouch and so uh, what I did is cut open one of the, the pillows that I usually use for camping. And then I just uh, took out the stuffing and put it in here. It's super, super soft too. So cool little little hack. And then it smushes down really small to go in my backpack. Of course, instead of making it a pillow, I probably should have been making sure that I had my tent, uh, tent uh, poles. <laughs> well. Boy, I, I don't know what was in that uh, Reese's or Trader Joe's cup that my sister-in-law gave me, but man, that thing, that was amazing. That gave me the strength to get back to the car.
Where's the mic? Then I have a cigarette. Sink at these clowns. It's the man she's married to now. It's a long hard road. Where we're gonna get there. Floaty thing's not floating. You want to keep it off the bottom, but you also want it to be submerged so it pumps faster. I'm sure it's fine, but I'll probably throw in one of those water purification tablets as well. Last time I used this, it was, it was fine. It was delicious. And you appreciate it all the more. One hour later. One thing I've learned after today and last time I went hiking is I need to get back to the gym or at least start hiking more on a day-to-day -day basis or walking even. Something that I think we all take for granted is the ability to just go for a walk. I know I do, anyway. And I know people who, who walk every day. Uh, my mom does, or close to it anyway. And it's great exercise. It's free. I've been, I've been doing it since I was about, I don't know, two, three, whatever, a year and a half. But when you work a nine to five and you just go home and watch TV, it starts to catch up to you. I think it's caught up to me. You know what would be sweet is to build a raft at a place like this. Like if you had, like if you had time, then you could just float around marshmallow. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to trust my water purifier that I've only used twice now. We'll see. Like a Giardia, no, it didn't work. All right, onward. So I definitely decided that I'm gonna get into ultralight backpacking after this adventure because this, everything, including the pack weighs 47 pounds, probably a five pound or maybe even more eight pound pack by itself. But yeah, I don't know if I really needed everything that I brought. So say goodbye to Upper Twin Lake. through Lassen Park is the juxtaposition of the perennial pines and the blossoming undergrowth born anew each season against 
the death and decay brought on by recent wildfires as well as damage done by burrowing beetles. Lassen Park truly is a painfully beautiful heaven on earth. Almost done with the first difficult part, the incline. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, since I didn't rent any campgrounds, I'm going to go back to the town here nearby and rent a campsite at uh, probably at Butte Lake. It's where I've been before and hooked into a beautiful rainbow, but. It broke my line. Pardon my heavy breathing. So yeah, and they got a nice campsite there. I can make a fire. We'll see. Pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do though. I honestly don't think that there's anything better than a, a cool mountain breeze after a two hour hike. Absolutely gorgeous. Guess what? I can see the summit of Lassen. It's good news. Almost there. Well, I made it. Back to the parking lot. Not exactly the way I wanted the adventure to go, but that's okay. Well, I can safely say I'm not going to do that again until until I get in better shape. But it was fun while it lasted. Well, I decided to hit up Manzanita Lake. Look at this view. There's fish jumping everywhere, but it's, you know, it's really just hit and miss. I just got to get the fly in front of them. This is one of like the best lakes to fly fish at. It's all catch and release. Hopefully I'll catch something. It's like the middle of the day, so I'm surprised they're even feeding at all. We'll see. Well, no luck yet. I threw like every dry fly pattern I could, but nothing was biting. Let's see, they're out there, they're jumping. Just not on my hook. All right, I finally got one. A little, little tiny guy, but it's worth the wait. Beautiful little guy. Let's let him go. Okay. And with that concluded, I'm going home. Peace. Well, what an adventure that turned out to be. Uh, didn't turn out quite the way I planned, but that's okay. You know, this is, like I said, this is the first time going out and recording my uh, little adventures. And sometimes, you know, you just got to go with the flow and um, learn to adapt. And uh, I've le definitely learned some things about myself. Number one is that I'm a lot older than I was the first time that I backpacked into Lassen Park. 
and I knew that going in, but um, it was definitely, you know, tougher than I thought it would be on me physically. Uh, part of that is, you know, due to age, part of it is just due to needing to, you know, get a more regular exercise routine, and that's going to be part of this journey that I'm on now, is making it more of a day-to-day -day thing like it has been for me in the past, as opposed to, you know, just something I go out and, and try to hike four miles into the wilderness. But definitely look forward to doing more of this. Now, because this didn't quite turn out like I had hoped, I decided to do a part two uh, of Lassen Park and specifically, you know, pertaining to fishing. So I'm going back with my friend Josh and we're gonna do a two night camping and fishing trip to Manzanita Lake in Lassen Park. That is one of the best fly fishing or fishing lakes in general. And so I'm gonna be fly fishing and uh, first time, you know, really fly fishing there besides, uh, you know, in this previous video where I was there for a couple hours during the day, I'm gonna go at a better time, bring my kayak and see if I can't catch a nice, you know, rainbow trout or German brown. So if you wanna stick around and check that out, go ahead and look for the link in the description or I'll post a, a link up here on the video you can click on and go ahead and take a look at that. It's not gonna be quite as long of a video. It was really just uh, one day of fishing for me. The first night I came and camped, I got there pretty late after work and so didn't do any fishing. But the next day I fished uh, pretty much from late, uh, late evening to, to sunset. And so stick around, definitely um, caught a bigger fish than in the previous video, which isn't hard to do. But uh, I think in the future, I'm going to go back up there again for a third time to Manzanita Lake uh, with my friend Josh. And I believe we're going to do a little uh, uh, friendly competition, you know, see you can catch the most fish. As you'll see in the video, he definitely beat me on this trip. Uh, but next time we're going to make it a little bit more even and uh, see what happens. So hopefully you enjoyed part one. If nothing else, hopefully it gave you some chuckles. And hopefully you'll stick around for part two. And then, like I said, in the future, I'd love to continue to make some of these uh, more videos to share with all of you. So please like and subscribe if you will. And until next time, go outdoors. It'll do you some good.